We want to make sure you are prepared to vote for this upcoming election, so we reached out to the Nueces County Clerk to let us know more about mail-in ballots. 3 News reporter Bill Churchwell shows us what every voter needs to know during this pandemic. Corpus Christi resident Sylvia Sanchez is already hand delivering her completed ballot to the county clerk's office right here on the second floor of the courthouse. Got the form uh, Saturday, filled it out, brought it in today. A quick check of her ID confirming it's her and her vote is officially in. Couldn't be easier. Sanchez is one of thousands expected to cast their vote via absentee ballot or mail-in ballot in Nueces County. In fact, Nueces County Clerk Kara Sands says her department has already sent out 16,000 ballots to folks who have qualified to vote by mail. And she says you still have time to apply. Until October 23rd. Now, once you receive your ballot, fill it out and are ready to turn it back in, you have two options to do so. Dropping it in the mail and sending it off or hand delivering the ballot to the county clerk's office. Keep in mind, you cannot deliver it for someone else. It has to be the voter who filled it out. As soon as you vote on your ballot, you can hand deliver it. However, an executive order by Governor Abbott limits drop off locations to one per county. Here in Nueces County, that location is the county courthouse on Leopard. So if you live in the outlining areas of the county and would rather hand deliver your ballot in person, you will have to spend some time on the road. Take, for instance, voters in one of the furthest cities from Corpus Christi in Nueces County. That's Agua Dulce. We actually drove the route ourselves to see just how long it would take. The time to get to the courthouse? about 40 minutes. Since Dell's 3 News, a majority of folks in the outlining areas who have opted for mail-in have simply mailed their ballots off in the past. And she wants to reassure folks voting by mail is safe. I can't control what's going on in the rest of the country, but you know what, in Nueces County, our post office, we're working hand in hand with the post office to protect your ballot and to get it back here so it will be counted. Today alone, Sand says they have received 1,000 ballots back by mail. With that said, she encourages folks to mail them back or hand deliver as soon as possible. The deadline to hand deliver is before polls close on Election Day. To mail, they have to be postmarked also by Election Day. Bill Churchwell, 3 News.